In this quick episode, I'm going to be direct about what's needed from you as a leader, and I'm going to give you a reminder of what you need to be doing for yourself. Hello, I'm Jody Flynn, and welcome to the Women Taking the Lead podcast. I'm an executive leadership coach, author, speaker, workshop facilitator, and I have the joy to work with women leaders who want to hone the skills that will allow them to thrive in senior leadership. I know I've met a woman I would love to work with when we start having a few laughs about our tendencies towards perfectionism and people-pleasing. I had been living in Maine for the past 18 years, but I am currently in Massachusetts staying with family for the month of December, and then I will make my final move to Virginia at the beginning of 2021. Thanks to the beauty of technology, I've been able to continue to work with women all over the world, even in the midst of so much movement and transition. I do individual coaching as well as workshops and team retreats, and I am the current president of the board for the Maine Women's Conference, which is a role I love. I spend my free time catching up with friends and family, coordinating my move to Virginia to create a life with my guy, working out, and watching the Great British Baking Show. I saw a tweet a few weeks ago that said, this week has been the longest month. Have you been feeling that way too? This year has brought a bag of tricks we weren't anticipating. Add a contentious election right before the holidays, and that's the cherry on top. You may also be having that feeling you had when you were a child on a long car ride with your parents, and you were dying to get out of the car. In frustration and agony, you couldn't help it. You kept asking, are we there yet? We are not there yet. A president has been announced and vaccines are being approved, but we are a long way from healing as a nation and as a globe. Though you are likely feeling a bit tired and uncertain, this is a great time to be a leader. When times are uncertain and chaos is ensuing, that's when people are looking to those who lead to help them navigate a path through. If you are a leader, and I'm assuming you are if you're listening to this podcast, those who look to you for guidance need you to bring your best self forward right now. It's a lot to ask of you, but there's a lot at stake. It won't help anyone if you are easily triggered and reactionary right now. I have lost count of the number of times I had to give myself a talking to over the last couple of weeks telling myself, don't engage, don't engage. It's not worth it. Have you found yourself digging deep recently to stay away from conflict? The number of messages I've received in recent weeks detailing a quote-unquote crazy post on social media and the sender's struggle to not respond or comment on it have been numerous. I've seen a few, and I've been triggered by them as well. I want to react and discharge that emotion And then I remember I'm a leader and I have a bigger mission at stake. A moment of unleashing my pent up frustration cannot be taken back and could hurt my cause significantly. Thoughts like don't engage, it's not worth it may not be of the highest virtue, but they've saved me from acting rashly. And I'm grateful for that. We're all feeling a little on edge lately. I'm hoping with the winter holidays here, we all have an opportunity to unplug and step away from the fray for a little while. And you especially, as a leader, need to take some time to take care of yourself. If you need to vent to a trusted friend, unplug from the news, delete your social media apps from your phone, or take a nap in the middle of the day, do it. Doing something nice for someone else will also make you feel good. I'd love to hear what helps you stay calm and stay above the fray. If you'd like, you can reach out to me directly at Jodi, J-O-D-I, at womentakingthelead.com, or you can engage or send me a message on any social media platform you're on. I'm likely there. And as always, I hope this was of value to you, and here's to your success. Thank you all for joining me on Women Taking the Lead. And to strengthen you on your own leadership journey, I'd like to send you off with a quote from Marianne Williamson, so here goes. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. 
It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Again, thank you for joining me, and here's to your success.